everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dawn. I'm a British expat living in the Netherlands and I vlog about life in the Netherlands and I also do the occasional tutorial. And that's what we're here for today. If you're regular to the channel, you might have seen in Vlogmas, I'll put a link somewhere on the screen to that series, that I made myself a nice pin jar cushion and I promised I would make a dedicated tutorial for that. That's what we're going to do today. So in terms of supplies, what you will need is firstly a jar. This one actually had pesto sauce inside it. This was a storage jar that I bought from the local um, bargain store. And this jar actually had some um, like uh, roast pepper jam. I chose that because it's an interesting shape. These have all got metal lids because the next piece of equipment that you'll need is glue. And I like to use a glue gun for mine, which is what I'll use in the tutorial. If you do use a glue gun, make sure that the lid of your jar is actually metal because the plastic lids could actually melt with the heat from the glue gun. Then you're going to need some fabric of your choice, a scrap fabric. If you don't have fabric to hand, maybe look at a nice a blouse or a piece of clothing that you've had that's seen better days because you need the smallest amount. You're going to need some stiff card, a shoebox or cereal packet is perfectly adequate for this project. You will need a sewing needle and some thread. You're going to need some filler or toy stuffing and then you need some embellishments of your choice. So let's get started. So firstly we begin by tracing around the lid of your jar on the cardstock and cutting that out to form a circle. Next you take your piece of fabric and cut out a larger circle. I would go two to three centimetres um, larger in diameter. When you have your fabric circle, then you need to do a very, very simple running stitch around the perimeter of the circle. When you've sewn around the edge, then you very gently draw together the two ends of the cotton to form a pouch. Inside the pouch you're going to start adding your filler and then when you feel you have enough to make a nice springy cushion that will hold your pins then you insert the piece of card. Draw everything together and secure the ends. And now you're going to begin with assembling the pin cushion. And as I said earlier, I'm going to be using a glue gun for this demonstration. Add a generous amount of glue to the pin cushion and secure firmly to the lid of the jar. Hold the cushion there for a short while. And when you're confident that it's firmly secure, now you can begin with the fun part, which is the embellishment. Take some ribbon of your choice and again with the glue gun, you're going to use the smallest amount of glue to attach the ribbon all the way along the edge of the jar and the pin cushion. And that will hide the seam or the join where you added the cushion to the lid. And at this point, you can be as creative as you like. You can add layers and layers of ribbon. You could add pom-poms, you can add sequins, whatever you like to do. As you can see, these are really quick and fun projects to do. If you do decide to make uh, them with your children, please be careful when using the glue gun as it can get really hot. As well as making a nice addition to your craft room, they also make great teacher gifts. They make great Valentine gifts. You can give them at Easter. You can also make them to sell at craft fairs or school fairs if you need to raise money for charity. If you run a small business, they're also a great addition to your stock. You can also make themed ones. So for example, if you have a Harry Potter fan, you could easily do the pincushion in Harry Potter colors. For example, Gryffindor, that's my house. And you can add Gryffindor badges or um, Slytherin badges, whatever your house of your choice is. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you do decide to make one, please leave a comment below or you can find me on Instagram with the hashtag Dawnsdays. Thanks again for joining me. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!